These are my well-trained, well-behaved dogs. So they're so well-trained, they do exactly what I tell them to do. Okay? After three, we will start to pull. Come and you're listening. After three, we'll start to pull. One, two, three. Okay, start pulling. Okay. Okay, come on, cross over. I'm out, I'm out on my uh, afternoon dog walk with my two obedient dogs. Uh, the little one here simply cannot be let off the lead because uh, she's just uh, so uh, fixed on trying to chase things and she has zero recall. But I'll tell you what, isn't it a lovely day? Look at this uh, lovely view. They've just um, harvested the corn or the wheat and uh, fields are looking really lovely. Yeah, so uh, I think actually I might well walk this way actually. There's a footpath along here. Uh, it's a little off the beaten track. But, uh, I've been sent some, um, some boots. And I'm very grateful for these actually because I'm very heavy on my footwear. And uh, to be honest with you, I've never had any boots that have lasted and held up for more than a year before they've started to have problems. And I've, uh, I've, I've had brashes, I've had scarpers, I've had lowers, uh, and I'm, I'm very heavy on my footwear. Uh, I tend to get up in the morning, put the same item of footwear on. I'm fairly, I live a bit, I, I have a fairly active life. So once I'm up, I'm doing stuff. I'm either in the workshop or I'm walking with dogs or I'm out making videos uh, or I'm out cycling. Um, so my footwear uh, I, has to be universal, uh, I, I tend to just wear the same old footwear until it falls to pieces uh, and I, I say I've never had a, pe a pair of boots or shoes or anything which has lasted without either leaking or falling to pieces or looking tatty or just wearing out generally. So um, I was contacted by a company called Nortiv eight and they've got a brand of footwear called the armadillo and they uh they said well i'd like to uh try some of their uh their boots uh, ankle boots so i said yeah i send them to me i could do with a new pair of boots to be honest with you um so i've they sent me two pairs which was really uh kind of them and i kept one pair for best and one pair i'm wearing now uh and i've had these now on continuously for the last eight weeks and I've been cycling in them I find I can cycle in them very well I only all my bikes are fitted with platform pedals so uh, I don't have any problem cycling in boots and the furthest I cycled is about 50 mile in one day uh, no problems at all with these boots for cycling uh, obviously for the 
the daily dog walking I'm walking around about it varies depending on the weather anywhere up to about six to seven miles a day on the dog walks so in over two months if you were to work that out let's say 45 mile a week like that's 180 mile that's 360 mile on dog walking I've done on these boots already uh, and one thing I can tell you is they've been very comfortable and uh, it's been hot weather uh, in the summertime this has been filmed in August and my feet well, they have been hot at times but no more so than they have been in any, any of the other more expensive boots I've had on in the past the dog wants to go pulling crazy again So I thought I'd, uh, on this dog walk we're going to meet a scenario of, uh, of um, challenges. One's going to be a little river crossing and uh, we'll see if they're still holding up for their waterproofness. They certainly have been waterproof up to this point and uh, I'll say I'll give them a good dunking in a minute and see how well they hold up. Um, but if you are interested in these boots there'll be links in the description box where you can uh, go, online, go online and purchase them. They're having a, a big... Um, released a release of them in the UK I think and the, I'm not sure what the UK prices are but I think they're quite favorable somewhere around about the sort of 40 to 50 pound mark so for a, a boot as durable and as comfortable as this one is uh, that could well be a bargain for you Looking at the, uh, the hedgerow here, you can see all the uh, hedgerow plants are set in seed now. A bit of old man's beard, rose hips, crab apples. Just in this uh, piece of hedgerow here and underneath the hedgerow. We've got an Aaron maculatum that sets seed. So, uh, It'll soon be winter. The seasons are moving on. That's right for them, they're scooting straight through, right? Believe me, when I tell you this little dog doesn't stop, I really mean it. She's incessant, she just will not quit. She's continually on the lookout for squirrels or other small mammals. Out and out hunting dog. Anyway, I'm sure when we get to the, the river crossing, which isn't very far away, she'll enjoy the water there. She may even lay in the water. I think she's got herself quite hot. Are you getting hot? Yeah. <laughs> approaching the water the river crossing now so I've got a little bit of upstream work to do and then uh, give the boots a good test for waterproofness and we'll see how they do
I just uh, just paddled up the stream a little bit. I uh, got the boots fully submerged, and my feet feel dry. I'll have a little sit down in a minute and have a quick check. Somewhere to sit. Cool. That doll's given me quite a workout, you know. She's hard work. She's always been like that. I've never been able to get her not to pull. She's so um, motivated by, well, I think it's called play drive. Anyway, I'm take the boots off and have a look at them. Carmen on, Carmen the big dog, and let her off the lead and she's never far away. Don't have to worry where she is, but the other article over there, I just can't trust her. Never been able to let her off the lead, she's got no recall. Beautiful dog, lovely dog. Apart from my feet being a bit on the warm side, they're bone dry. So, uh, these boots, I have used them. Um, and I've got a brand new pair and I'm keeping them for best. So I'll show you those as well. But uh, they are very comfortable. They are very waterproof. Uh, I say they're no, they're no hotter in the, you know, in hot weather than they and any other boots I've ever had are. Um, and I, I must admit, I've, I think for the for the money, I think they represent excellent value. So that's a Nortiv. I think it's called Nortiv Eight Armadillo. Uh, they come in v, the V1 and the V2. This is, these are the V1s I'm wearing. Uh, and I've got the V2s as well. I'm not sure what the difference is between them is, but they look identical to me apart from uh, the colours. They've got um, a, a rein, it's, it says reinforced toe cap area. That's this area. It's not, it's not a steel toe cap. It's just reinforced to sort of stop any abrasions against rocks and what have you. Uh, I must admit, I think they represent excellent value of money, value for money. So their design brief is for the boots to be tough, rugged, comfortable, water resistant, uh, with good traction over model, over different terrain. Obviously, you're going to find that some areas are very slippery, like on ice, for example. I don't think any. Um, any boot will be out, you slip on ice. But they're, they're very well, very well built boot. And just notice they've got a lovely heel support area as well, which is uh, reinforced to stop abrasion from rocks. Got to admit, I am impressed by them. And the launch price, as I say, is about 40 quid in the UK. Uh, any more information on these, uh, then just click on the links below this video in the description box and uh, that'll uh, give you all the information you need. You'll see me wearing these going forward now throughout the, throughout the year and if anything happens to them, I'll let you'll be the first to know, put it that way.